Start the intro. What's up, YouTube? I just got the bumper from my Suburban, the Project Suburban from FedEx. All right, so this is the bumper right here. This is the box it came in. Look at this. Which I don't think is damaged, even though this is like that. It's a plastic bumper cover, so I don't think it's damaged. This is the SS, the uh, Silverado SS bumper that I'm about to put on the Suburban. So you take this outside. Shouldn't be too heavy. I should be able to lift it with one hand. Just a big ass box. Okay, so come on, let's see what we got. Oh man, this, my Chevy Volt charger is always in a damn way. Okay. So there's the, the, the Suburban. Only thing I'm missing is the front clip. So here goes the bumper. Let's take a quick look at it. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta offer up the message here. See what this offer up message is about. Do you have the AC module control? The AC module control? Nigga, I'm selling the fucking front end. Look. Y'all see this? I'm selling the front end to my Suburban. And he talking about an AC module control. The hell, I, what, what I look like with an AC module control when I'm selling the front end? Yeah, I got an AC module control. But guess what? You ain't getting it because I need it, motherfucker. You need an AC module control? Google it. eBay that shit. Amazon it. I don't care, but shit, don't hit me. Why people going to do bullshit like that? Hit you up about something that got nothing to do with what you sell. Idiots. But anyway, fuck that. I got dressed. So <clears throat> I'm going to crack this bumper open and see what it do. All right, y'all, let me get some up. So here we go. I see exactly what's going on. They separate, they, they split it up so that you have to buy the inserts that go here, the grill insert, and the uh, wind deflector that go on the bottom. Them son of a bitch. That's why I was $105 for this. So this was $105. So now I got to pay $75 for the little inserts that go here. $80 for the grill insert. So let me dry fit this shit. But you know what? Like I said, I need the, the metal bumper cover. Cause it's not gonna go on like this. Wait a minute, y'all. Give me a second. Let's see what I can do. <clears throat> okay, so I learned something today. I gotta get the, the metal bumper cover. Not bumper cover, the metal bumper bracket. Finish off this front end. Buy some new lights eventually, but first I'm going to try to clean those and see how they look. But I think it's going to be the business, y'all. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go get this bumper. This metal bumper bracket. <clears throat> and I'll be right back. Okay, here's the metal bumper. So, I'll put this metal bumper up, put this over it. 
So I guess the best bet is to have this metal bumper up here. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and see what I got to do. And remember, I'm not a mechanic. I don't work at a fabrication shop or none of that shit. I'm just doing this as I go. So my plan is to show how easy it is and the cheapest way to do something like this. Look at the front. I put this shit on myself. Line up everything. Because it's pretty much plug and play. Same exact body style. All the screws, everything line up perfectly. So, let me see what I have to do with this. Okay, I see this bracket with a metal bumper support. Still not fitting right. So I see what I got to do. Oh, and another thing, I got, where are they at? These rear pieces right here, I got them off of a Z71 Suburban, and they go back here like this. So they fit like that. So these is going to go on to fill that gap a little bit so that'll look cool so that'll give it a little more flavor for the back for the side you know the, the side profile in the back so I'm gonna go ahead and work on this shit and see what I got to do to get this this uh, bumper cover to fit proper all right so I'm gonna mess around with this and I, I'll be I'll be right back let me see if I can get some light in here. What's up, y'all? I'm back with my Project Suburban. And what I'm doing today, I'm taking a stock bumper off and I'm putting on that. So this is a roll pan. And as you can see, it's for 2000 to 06 Tahoe Yukon or Cadillac. So that's going on there. So I'm going to show y'all how to take this bumper off and how to put that roll pan on. Now for starters, you got six screws you got to remove. Now, here's the six screws. You got three screws in here, one back here, one here, and one here. Now, this is the, uh, the tow rack, the tow hitch. If your car got a tow hitch, you're going to need to take out these three screws and those screws are uh, 21 millimeters. Now, for starters, you need a deep socket. To fit these bolts right here, you need a deep socket. This is like a, like a one and a half, two inch. This shit is not deep enough. You're going to need a deep socket to do that, like a four inch socket or whatever. But what I did, I used some grip pliers. So I put the grip pliers on the boat like that. Boom. I took this half inch socket. I mean ratchet. And I used this 10 millimeter right here. So I put the 10 millimeter over this boat if it perfect. See? So I put the grip pliers, I put the grip pliers on the boat and I use that 10 millimeter with this ratchet to take it off and it, and it came off pretty good. So once I loosened it up, I used the impact gun to just drill it out. And then it got two more bolts, one here, one here that I haven't taken out yet. And as far as the, the metal bumper support, 
I see you got a school a boat here a boat up there spider webs you got a boat up there so I'm gonna take those boats out first and see what's going to happen okay so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that part hmm. I need a tripod I don't have a fucking tripod let me see where could I put this camera see if I can get here. Yeah, try to set it there. I hope it don't fall. But I'm gonna try that. They got two bolts here for the bumper support. And I see they got a bolt here for the bumper support. All the bolts you see that's that's bolted to the frame, take them all out. I don't know which ones I'm going to have to take out. So I'm going to just remove all of them. Alright, so now. If you're installing a, a roll pan. On your Suburban, your Tahoe, your Yukon. Whatever. It's, if you have a tow hitch. The tow hitch got eight screws you got to take out. Eight bolts. There's three here on the bottom. And there's two on the top by the license plate. It comes straight off. But if you don't got a tow hitch to take the bumper off, it's only six screws. There's two screws here on the frame, and there's one more that's on the support right here. And on both sides, and the bumper pulls straight off, and uh, they come off as one piece like that. Now, when you're doing the roll pan, I don't care what kind of truck it is. In my experience, you got to cut the frame. So what I did, I cut the frame right past this part. So right past the body, I cut the frame. And I used a reciprocating saw from Harbor Freight. It worked pretty good. So I got the metal blade right here. Cut it right off, no problem. So yeah, that's what you're gonna have to do if you wanna install a roll pan. Cause if you don't cut the, fr the frame, the roll pan will never fit. So yeah, and keep this piece because I'm not planning on putting this shit back on. I'm planning on just getting rid of the bumper all in all. But if you got plans to put your bumper back on, then don't even put the roll pan on because you gotta cut the frame. And if you do cut the frame, keep this piece so that you can get it welded back on later. All right? So that's what I would say. If you got plans of putting it back on, keep this piece so you can get the shit welded back on and make sure the weld is good. Then you can put your bumper back on. Other than that, that's all you gotta do. It's just bolt, take off the bolt, simple. Bumper is easier than I thought to come off. So that shit was pretty simple. So you take those, those bolts out, bumper come off, cut the frame, size up the, uh, the roll pan, and you're gonna bolt it in here on each side bolt it in here and there because up top like i got the lift gate when you lift the gate there's nowhere for you to to install the screws here at the top see these holes right here so it's nowhere that where you could where you could bolt that in at if you got the lift gate so yeah right there on the sides is where it's gonna be at so till my next video, I'm out.